This is amazing. What if you can integrate multiple functions, multiple softwares in your GPT assistance using Assistance API? Not only that, what if you can trigger this parallel function calling in your Node.js application? That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about parallel function calling using Node.js. In this, we'll be seeing how a user can interact with multiple functions such as getting a stock price, currency conversion, and also getting the latest news. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe, click the like button and stay tuned. Coming to parallel function calling, in this application, we are going to make a user to call all these three functions. We have already covered how to call one function in my previous video, which I will link that in the description below. In this, we are going to add two more function, currency conversion and retrieving the latest news of a company. As a continuation from my previous video, we already created get stock price function and then we define the function definition in the tools variable and then we pass this tools in say the assistance.create function here. We also started creating assistant and running it by defining your assistant, creating a thread and sending a message, then creating a message, creating and run with custom instructions. Now we are going to add two more functions to implement parallel function calling. So this is our package.json, the list of packages we are installing. First is node fetch to fetch from a URL. Next is OpenAI, and third one is Yahoo Finance to get the stock price. In the terminal, make sure you install npm install node fetch, next npm install OpenAI, and npm install Yahoo Finance too. Next, export your OpenAI API key like this, and export your GNews API key like this, which you can generate from GNews website to get the latest news of a company. Now we're going to add two more functions. First, import fetch from node fetch, then async function get latest company news, and then we are passing the GNews API key, and we are fetching the API URL to get the latest news of the company. Next, another function, USD to GPP conversion. We are going to use exchange rate API URL. Then we are fetching the conversion data. We are now completed creating the second function. Now we are going to add our function definition. Previously, we have only get stock price. Now we are going to add get latest company news function definition with company name as the required field and then USD to GBP conversion and only required is USD amount. Then this tools definition will be passed to assistance.create as we have done before. And lastly, we need to add our functions in the dispatch table. So first the company news and next USD to GBP conversion. So when the application check the status equals requires action, it will automatically loop through all these functions and run these functions parallelly. So when we run the assistant and when the status is equals requires action, that's when we loop through all the three functions and run those functions parallelly. Now we can run this code, node parallel function calling.js and click enter. Now we can see it goes to the requires action status and it's calling two functions. One is get stock price, another one is get latest company news at the same time. It provides the required AAPL symbol and Apple, the company name. Then this will trigger our dispatch table looping through all those functions and it will return the output back to the assistance API. Again, now there's another function being called USD to GPP by providing the USD amount. This can be called only at this stage because in the previous stage, we need to retrieve the stock price and in this stage, we are converting to GPP. We can see the status in progress. Now it got completed. Assistant, here's the latest information you requested for Apple. Stock price, $191. Stock price in GBP, pounds 150. And the latest news, three reasons you should try Apple's journal app. These Apple ad tag deals make great gifts for forgetful friends. And it gave us 10 news. The question we asked is, can you please provide me stock price, stock price in GBP and the company news of Apple? The question we mentioned here, when we created the message. That's it, as simple as that. Now you are able to run parallel function calling using your Node.js application. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. 
I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.